Hello, my friends. My name is Byron, and this is the BJJ Brick Q&A show. This time we have a question about somebody. Uh, they don't know if their training partners are going too hard. I'll pop the question up on the screen. I'm not going to read it all. Uh, basically, Mick wants to know, uh, are his training partners trying to hurt him? He rolls hard all the time, but when it becomes time for the submission, he slows things down. He respects his training partners, and he'll apply the submission slowly. Uh, he does this with all joint locks, and uh, he's oftentimes not afforded the same thing. He'll have a brown belt going at him pretty hard for the finish. He, he does finish the chokes pretty hard, he says, but he likes to roll hard. He's a big, strong guy, he mentions in his email, and he just wants to know if he's being treated fairly, if his training partners are really trying to hurt him, would I think about this situation? Mick, that's an interesting question. It's a long one. Uh, a little bit long for the show, I like to read them all, but I just can't really read the whole thing in this uh, show style of format here, so I'll put it up there and let you read it if you want to read it. But uh, I don't know you, Mick, and I don't know your training partners either, so that's kind of tricky to answer. But one thing I did cue in on is that you train hard all the time. You've been training for a couple of years, and I think given your athletic ability and your size, you're starting to become a bit of a handful for your training partners. And so possibly they're actually trying to go hard just to get the finish. Because if they go slow and they try to control, you're getting out of these things. So you training hard all the time is resulting in your training partners training hard all the time, including the finish, which is getting you your elbows to be sore and getting you kind of uh, cranked on your, your joints a little bit more than you would prefer, than anybody would prefer, really. <clears throat> I recommend maybe slowing things down and just kind of calming down. No point in training super hard all the time. It might be frustrating for your training partners. It might actually be slowing your progress down as you're not uh, taking time to smell the roses and observe some of the smaller details in jiu-jitsu. If you're just pushing the pace all the time, you're constantly acting like you're in a big competition. Uh, that is That is a frustrating thing. Uh, I, I've been, I'm a black belt now. I, I've been rolling with lower level uh, belts in Jiu Jitsu and they can be frustrating. You know, if they're going super hard, I'm trying to go light and it doesn't really work so well all the time. I need to pick it up. If I pick it up a little bit and I start to get an arm bar and you go super hard and you take it up another level even more and you bust out of it, am I going to continue to go light next time during my arm bar? I should, but really it's frustrating if I'm trying to work on that and you keep uh, taking the slack I've given you to, for your safety and using that as an advantage. So maybe, you know, you slowing down for the submission, that's great. That's helping keeping everybody safe. That's an awesome thing to do. It's smart. But maybe you going 110% to get out of their armbar that they're trying to finish, it's really resulting in them finishing their armbar pretty hard. Uh, try finish, just as the armbar is an example, you know, say they're on top mount or side control and they go, armbar, you're doing this. Big guys can do this. They kind of lock up and they try to protect the arm that way. You said you're a big guy. You know what? You lock up, you start to protect it. You feel like you're going to lose the fight. You tap before the arm even gets extended. That's an option for you. Yeah, I bet you're not doing that because it sounds like you're going hard all the time. So you're, you're you know, even when the arm breaks and it starts to go out like this, you're continuing the fight. You're trying to get out and they're having to probably hip into it a little bit more than, than they should. And you're kind of hitting a strange place between your limitations and their limitations. They're wanting to do certain things and you're uh, wanting to not have them do that. That's, that is jiu-jitsu. It's always a fight. But uh, I really think that the key in this email is that you go hard all the time except for the finish. Maybe you should go hard a lot of the time, but also uh, take time to slow things down. Uh, maybe not uh, freak out so much when you're caught in a submission and, and try to try to get out of it a little sl more slowly and if they start to get it tap even earlier than you are because it sounds like they're trying to finish you and they are sometimes you know you're getting sore arms that's you probably should have tapped a little earlier but they're going to, they're finishing harder than they should because probably they can't get it if they don't so if you slow things down on your end they'll probably slow things down a little bit as well and uh, it shouldn't take long to notice this if you do it a few times uh, you know and, and they still go pretty hard mention to it hey I'm trying to slow things down I realize I've gone pretty fast in the past and I would like to just kind of bring things down and keep keep it safe and I keep want to keep learning. After all, every day that you're injured or your arms are sore to go train, that's an entire day you missed. Not a hard roll, an entire day of hard rolls or medium rolls 
that you didn't get to go train. So uh, keeping yourself on the mat is a great way to get better at this long term. It went super hard tonight, this week, this whole month. That's great for the time, as long as you're able to maintain, but eventually you're gonna hit these roadblocks. It sounds like you hit one. Uh, Mick, I hope this helps you. I don't really know you, so I'm, I'm not trying to pick on you, saying it's all you, you're going too hard, but I don't know. And I don't know the upper belts at your school either. Maybe they are kind of going too hard. Maybe, you know, the, the, if they're armoring you easily all the time, then it's probably them. But if they only armor you occasionally, and you usually fight out of it, uh, they're probably getting uh, a little frustrated with trying to pull off a technique and you're busting out of it at the last minute. So they're trying to, to tie that, shore that up and they're not able to do it in a 100% controlled manner uh, that they could. So uh, thank you for the question. I urge you, anybody out there to send a question to bjjbrick at gmail.com. Subscribe to the channel. We've got other questions on here. Starting to do some product reviews, some DVD reviews as well. So check us out. Subscribe to the channel if you like and check out the BJJ Brick podcast if you're into podcasts. So uh, thank you very much. My name is Byron. I look forward to the next question.